Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trufinet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to God of War on the Give Me God of War difficulty, the highest difficulty in the game in New Game Plus. I'm just uh, going through the entire game again, just discussing a lot of things we've learned from uh, my original playthrough, uh, which you can find on the YouTube channel right here, and uh, just discussing it a bit and going through the emotions again because this has just been an amazing game and i just want to see what's been added in new game plus uh for some reason as well did you now well color me interested. let's have a little chat because i don't know now. you know what this is i have the no idea of ancient the heart of it oh yeah well that that's what it is it wasn't easy to kill oh really oh because Giant i still have a few uh, ancient hearts in my uh, inventory Shocker. So that's, yeah, there we go. We saw that already. I think, does that actually unlock new Let's recipes or away, not? Then. Oh, it does. There's upgraded traveler and ancient stuff. But I need scap slack for that as well. So not just the traveler's armor shard, but I did like. Yeah, so reinforcement battle hardened metal scraps from the traveler's armor increases vitality for warriors strong enough. So it's pretty much the same thing with just higher uh, level stuff of it and it's even worse than the cold of war tunic so who knows we'll see what we'll get um yeah so let's have a little chat with him further brock fuck else you need how come your brother's got half your brand because i ain't in a working relationship with that foot liquor no more i wasn't about to let him use it without me and he likewise <laughs> Only thing to do was split the brand 50-50 down the middle. I guess that was the last thing we saw eye to eye on. Yeah, indeed. But good. luckily, of course, you want a hug? everything uh, works out between those two. So I think there is actually Be another option. Be careful out there, you two. Extra careful. The roads are teeming with more than usual compliment of dead assholes lately. You've noticed. Any idea where they're coming from? Maybe they ran out of rooms in hell. Or could be Odin stirring up trouble again. Well, kind of a or bit of maybe both. maybe they all got lost. Why don't you ask one while he's chewing your face off? Uh, we'll just be careful. Thought so. Oh, I wanted to ask one while he was chewing my face off. So there we go. All dialogue options depleted. So let's go nice in here. I'll be thinking of a name for your beast. How about a name for Fucking gratitude. Yeah, we heard that already. Because I think we did see... Like Wait a second, didn't he? Yeah, because I've been to that chest already, so this is a bit of a continuity error, but... Yeah, never mind, because the save file kind of saved some things, but not everything. But, let's get into this uh, grisly town. Left me to fight alone. I did. People are one thing. Everything else you fight. Until I say stop or we are dead. Understand? For your weight, we go home. I understand. Good. There we go, and I think I can. Can I pull that even <laughs> further? No. So there's just this chest over here giving us more uh, scap slag. And then, of course, the uh, the really the first real puzzle in the game. That just gives us soft fartle time steal as well. <laughs> I don't think there's anything inside of these things, but so we need to pull that up. And there we go. And freeze that in place. Which means we can cross, of course, but it's gonna start spawning Wait enemies. There. But now of course I have the blades of chaos. These guards are resistant to burn damage a bit, but. There we go. I could actually just say fuck it. Fuck it. There we go. There we go. There we go. And that, that gets him into stun modes immediately. Just to do a bit of a barehanded combat. There we go. There we go. No, that was not what I wanted to do. Just grab him. Rip. 
And that kills the other ones. No, oh, it didn't. Okay. And boom. There we go. Because, of course, if you pull back the axe, you get into a bit of uh, trouble. Ooh, gold. That's a problem. Oh, yeah. Oh, I wasn't. Oh, damn it. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna keep doing this, apparently. And let's just get that stun bar going. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he just exploded in the back. Great. That was a great start. Great start to an episode. Uh, probably should just stun the guy. I can probably kick him in the walls and stuff like that. Is that really? Yeah, that's really going to be the checkpoint, isn't it? Wait there. So, let's just do hand to hand combat. Uh oh, here we go. There we go. And then I can go across and just take care of these guys first. I'll rip one in half. Where's the second one? Goodbye. And then the happy one spawns, right? Why not? Doesn't seem like he did. Ah, can't open that up right now because now suddenly everything else starts to spawn. And there we go. So even on this difficulty, I do close the gap if I just want to grab something, which is fine. And now the big one. They're spawning really irregularly here. I'm just getting... I blocked that, but... There we go. Okay, we went down pretty easily, actually. Should have done that a bit sooner, but there we go. Grab the chest. Even without the Blades of Chaos, that's actually pretty doable. So, uh, the first time I went around this room, I actually missed a few things, which is always fine, of course, but... I know. Let's just freeze that in place, and then just do this. Now, boy. Because if it goes all the way back down, I actually get the chance to get on top of it, which is something that I didn't do the first time around. Um, so there we go. There's actually another CR and chest on top of it here. And a few chests on the left. Trust I will not let us die. So there's one, I think one of them is a bit, yeah. And then the last one is over there. I had a few problems getting to it last time. Because it doesn't want to really break from here. Because it's not supposed to be accessible from here. Which is silly. Because I can't open it, but open it up if I don't get that one. And it clearly goes through it. It's just a bit... Just a bit finicky. Should probably just go down. Or, you know what, I'll just put that up a bit and smack it like that. I think that's what I did the original time. There we go. Opening up the chest. And does that give us more slaps? Skag, skag, slap, whatever. It doesn't. Just hack silver. Too bad. I was hoping that those CRN chests were going to give us a bit more as well, but... 
more over here. I don't need to drop down, so let's just jump back across. This okay. way. And whatever this guy was carrying. Oh, another face of magic. Collecting more and more. Ooh, hack silver. There we go. Never been this close to the mountain before. Well, you have. Looks so big. I wish Mom was here to see it. And again, the slow, hesitant attempt to uh, get closer to his son. Yeah, again, oh, I do boy. like this this first look at. Uh, this, well, review of everything uh, that's happened before. Because now, of course, we're used to the relationship with Atreus. We kind of forget how it was going on at the beginning of the game. It's always nice to uh, just reevaluate that. That's weird. That's two, like, faces of magic right after one another. Um, hey, look at that. What is it? Boy. Look, there are runes written along the side. So there is a puzzle here, I'm just going to do it because I think I remember the solution kind of. So if we go up here, we can rotate this thing around. Read these runes? Seriously? What does it say? As we are, we two, we three. As I alone can never be. A riddle. Hmm. Maybe there's a clue around here. Maybe there is. So we can start rotating these. Come back down. And then we can use the axe to set a few of these fixed. Damn it. And I missed that one. So we can do this. And then we need to release once they're matched. So if I just release right now. I think that part's right. And then we can fix the outer part. Just let it rotate on top of that. And I think it auto solves once you get that right. So it doesn't look like anything. That's it. I see runes. Indeed. Boy, what do those runes say? Oh, it says family. That's not a clue. It's the answer. What I alone can never be. Right? Use your knife and trace the runes into the sand. Really? Kinsel. Something happened! Indeed it did. Oh, I never noticed, but the statues actually turn to look at you. That was a bit creepy. Because those are actually elves. Which I never realized before. So why are the elves blocking off the way to wrong, the lake? I'm happy we're leaving this place. It is behind us now. Wasn't there something here? Oh, yeah, I could climb up here. It's not always obvious, but I think that's another face of magic. There we go. Just collecting these, even though I don't really need to collect them. And then let's go up here. That up there is another raven, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there it is. And another health stone. And that, I think, brings us to another bigger arena. Yeah, there's another boss fight incoming. Boy, these tracks. Hmm, a boar maybe? Not sure, but I'll find it. Go. Hunt with a trace. To keep his skills sharp. Going down, and then we see the lava filled big ass troll ran out there. Okay, oh, fuck's sake. Oh, 
Oh god. Just wanna... And smack. Yeah, I, don't, I really can't uh, do that on the left side. Just gonna activate Spark Rage. With a full bar, this is actually doable, apparently. And then the first, which should be able to, uh, should enable us to kill it completely. Oh, gold. There we go. And punch. Crack open the skull. And then smash him with his flaming pillar. Okay, there's still a few idiots in the way. Oh, what? He didn't even hit me. Come on. Wow. No, don't leave me alone here. That was bullshit. No computer, I don't want you to restart. Where's the checkpoint? Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's just do this quickly. Yeah, he can't do a single thing about that. And uh, this one in his nuts. This is gonna take him down pretty quickly. And smack. Smack. Boom. Alright. Now these guys. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I do love Retribution. And leave the man's head off. And smack. Goodbye. Okay, there we go. I'm out of breath. That was interesting. So I can, I could pretty easily kill those last guys. Uh, I hear another raven. I think it's over here somewhere yeah. in the middle. What does it say? Rune symbolizes the three Nornia. Nornia. The fates. The fates. No good comes from them. The Fates. Yeah, we kind of killed a few Fates uh, in uh, Greek mythology. Where the hell is this thing? Sounds like it's coming out. Ah, there it is. There it is. So. So we have N, R, N. That wasn't right. There it is. And, uh... Yeah, okay. I'm fucking this up. And then... There we go. Just for the hacks over. They're quite large rewards, so... Uh, 
not really worried about that. In the back, 6,000 hack silver. I haven't checked out the um, enchantments yet, by the way. Might actually just quickly do that. It's just to see if there's anything better than what we currently have. Doesn't... Ooh. They are... They are actually higher level. Because I do get level ups from that. But most of these are so cool that I don't want to really change those. Because like, I have the Outer Realm is like seven stat boosts in one. So even if I take one of the higher ones, I lose most of the stat boosts. Yeah, I'm just going to keep it the way it is for now. I like it the way it is. Unless something better comes along, I'm just going to keep on going with the old. And collecting more and more collectibles, of course. There we go. Picking that up. A bit more hack silver. It's not really... It's not really much, most of these areas. And since I've done all the collectibles, I kind of know where everything is, but... It's not really satisfying at the moment. Just 500 hack silver, which is pretty much nothing. And that is interesting. It looks like... This thing is already... Red, the Yutnar tablet over there. There we go. Is he gonna put it down automatically or? Yeah, because it's weird that the game forces you to use the prompt at the beginning, probably just to learn that the square button is the Atreus button. Ah, no. Boy. There we go. Over here. Huh. Interesting. I may want to write that down. Yeah, so you do need to recollect those again. Not really that necessary, but let's go into the cave. And there's another bit of hack silver, apparently. Is this? No. No, no, no. I do hear the boar. Boy, I hear your animal ahead. I knew it was a boar. The boar, the famous boar. The most famous boar in internet history. Probably not, but it's getting close. Shoot when you're ready. Remember, draw to your chest. Wild boar's height is thick. So there we go. But I hit it, didn't I? I did what you said, and it looked like it bounced off. Could the boar be magical? <sighs> What do you think? It looked weirder than any boar I've ever seen. Get after it then. Let's go get ourselves some boar meat. Tonight we dine with boar meat. Just because it's moist and delicious. So I think this is the destroyed village, right? Yeah. One of those people? Something else. I think, yeah, so this is the village that was, you know, completely ravaged because there's dead people and dead Shulker in this place. Just gonna check in here because most of these houses actually have a bit of, uh, a bit of materials just strewn around the place. Just gonna try and get most of the stuff out of these things. Too bad about all those people, but I think... Looks like there was a, an active Draugr in this thing. Oh no. There's Draugr here too. They must have been fighting. You're assuming again, Atreus. Making assumptions. Shouldn't be doing that. Pots. I still hate pots. Uh, there is another face. Yeah, over here. A more dose indeed. The more dose, the more we can sell them for uh, hack silver. And then there's one more area, yeah, over here on the sides, with another chest to open up. Uh, I think that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. Let's just drop off and get ambushed. I did. Ah, uh, blow him up. There we go. 
set the house on fire a bit, because that's the effect of my uh, stats being so high that that heavy finisher actually creates that Here. fiery blaze. It ran under. Seems a bit quiet on the stream today. Well, no matter. You guys can always check this out on YouTube, which eventually, if you get to watch this video, if you're watching this video, it's probably on YouTube already, so never mind. In the bum. Do not lose it. And this is a bit weird. So he loses the knife, which causes Kratos to wait a bit, and then suddenly the fog sets in. So we lose Atreus. Boy. And this entire area is not non-returnable, so we can't come back here for... So there's no collectibles here either. Boy. Um, and I compared this to um, the, the scene at the beginning of Heavy Rain. Where are you? Hurry, father. Because he's uh, yelling for his son. I think I called him Ethan then. Ethan. And then we have another dead end. And the, the music kind of pumps you up to try and find him, but uh, it's not that big of a problem, of course, now that we know where he's going to. So no need to call him out. Because you start to see the, the subtle shift in the scenery already. I'm sorry. Atreus! And running, running, running. The scenery getting more and more green, and Kratos starting to panic. We didn't know he belonged to anyone. He doesn't. He's my friend. The boy was following my command. Then help fix this. Hold here, please. Hold, I said. He's losing blood. The last of his kind in all the realm, and you shoot him. You needed food? Target practice. Target practice. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Keep that pressure on. The blame is mine. I should have kept a closer eye. Will he die? I will not let him. You, the arrow cut a tideway inside him. Find both ends and hold them tightly. And here we go with the boar surgery again. I think it's Start like... Start with the left side. Grab it and hold. L2? Yeah, I was pressing now L1. Right side. Hold it tight. Good. Now pull them together. Line them up. Oh, there we go. Or surgery with a Norse goddess. It's a bit of a weird introductory scene because it takes away from the fact that she's actually I can't finish the a goddess. Here. My home is just beyond the trees there. You will carry him. He must not die. Ah, she's a tragic character, isn't she? Good. He seems stable and calm for now. Because she's such an amazing character, especially at uh, the first half of the game, but then she kind of descends into madness for obvious reasons, but still, it's a bit of a, a bit of a sad place for her to go. So yeah, the witch, or of course Freya, and it's very slow-moving root. My mother made it for me. She said I'd grow into it. I've never seen you in these woods. She must miss you being away from home. She... She's dead. We're taking her ashes to the highest peak in the realms. Ashes? It was her last wish. Boy. I'm... Sorry for your loss. And there we have Chorley. Which is actually a, a bit of an easter egg. The name for the turtle. Because... At the beginning, I've told you guys before that they didn't know what they were gonna call Atreus. And the first option was actually Charlie, which is why Atreus eventually calls the uh, the turtle Charlie. Bit of a nice uh, tidbit of background information. And still, still an incredible scene. Look at that thing. Is he friendly? Boy. I promise you, he's safe. Because, of course, this kind of takes a bit of a weird twist. Because Freya, of course, makes it sound like she's, she's friends with everybody, but since she's the goddess of nature, she kind of has the power to control things. And I'm not sure if forcing 
a giant turtle to stay put for all eternity just to keep her house underneath it is yeah, nice. I feel like the turtle is getting the short end of the stick here. So let's move past him and uh, go in. Because yeah, because this thing is eternally stuck in place because of the house. Quickly. It's still weird that Kratos can't move any faster with this thing in his hand. Just because we've seen him, him log a lot heavier in weight than that. You live alone? It's better this way. Yeah, my father doesn't like people either. Boy. Well, you don't. Hold him still before he hurts himself. Good. Easy. Rest now. Rest, my boy. I need two more things. Fresh red root grows just behind the house. Can you pull a cluster? There we go. So we get a little uh, private time with Freya. What else? I... I know you're a god. So this is the first time this, this realm, but there's no mistaking it. It's it's a very important distinction between what Baldur said and what she nature, says. Or his own. That is none of your concern. The gods of these realms don't take kindly to outsiders, trust me. I know. When they find you, ah, they will. she does carry the They'll sword constantly. Difficult. It's just hidden a bit behind her. That will be my problem. Whatever you're hiding, you cannot protect him forever. But you're right doesn't concern me so yeah Baldur just says he knows what we are without specifying but she explicitly says I know you're a gold just a handful I love how she bosses Kratos around and then that smirk Fine. on her face lambs Chris lambs Chris yeah it's I do love the little touches in all of these scenes and it's really really cool to revisit them all just to see what else the, the developers just left Left just kind kind of hidden, just hinting at what's to come. I think the lamb crest is is it on the right as well, or is it on the left? Because I felt like isn't it this? Yeah, this is it. There we go, lamb crest. And then let's go back to Atreus. And he was there a second ago, but he moves because yeah, there he is in the back. I lost him the first time around. And this is actually another really funny thing. He can't get it out. Would this help? While he should be able to get it out, of course, because he kind of has the strength of his father I dropped it. a bit. And you were chasing the animal. But he kind of hasn't anything? unlocked the power yet. If I, if I lost it, then... You did lose it. I'll take better care of it from now on. There we go. You did lose it. Return to the witch. Easy peasy. Just go back through the door. This is not hard at all at this difficulty. So we have everything. Because there's actually extra dialogue if you go in without Atreus. She urges you to get him back. Purple ecstasy in the wound. So he's gonna live? Yes. Then we are leaving. Wait. Not without thanks. So the boar is painted with the same stuff that she is now using on Kratos and Atreus. You want which is also interesting. So that's why the first arrow actually bounced off the boar. Those who might make your journey difficult. And if you're a bit familiar with Norse mythology, then you actually recognize the symbol that she uses for that, because it's actually in mythology the symbol for protection state. There's a shortcut below the house that leads safely out of these woods. Follow this path down. Then head towards daylight. 
There we go. Oh, we see Into her there. basement. As much or as little as you like. Now get out of here. Oh boy. So that her little interactions with the trades also makes it all the more tragic because it kind of hints at what she wanted for with uh, with her own son, Just with Balder. Wait, and take this. You can use it to orient yourself and navigate the world. It will always steer you towards your goals. I can't put that away. Apparently, get to the boat because it's kind of kind of weird. So goodbye, Freya. Until next time, so the witch's cave. I don't have the electricity yet, but I could go could go down. Oh. There we go. Got them. They went suicide immediately. Why should tell me about them? Didn't think they were actually real. Nightmares. Yeah. They give people nightmares. Or they are nightmares. I don't remember which. Yeah, it's an I important distinction. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go down here really quickly because I think the last. Well, there's another face of. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Just slowly descending in the water. So the water isn't down yet, which is, uh, of course, because we haven't been to the lake yet. And isn't that heavy? Not really. It doesn't seem heavy. So we can leave that here and then keep pushing it, because I never did that. My original playthrough. Well, I eventually did, but... What's a... Uh, a bit weird because it of course stops you from moving it but you can't actually push it all the way off there we go and then you can get across the water do you know what is under the surface no it's pitch black then do not touch the water and i think there's another chest here which is going to give give us a bit more of that slap skag skag slap scap slap Scap slag. I keep saying it wrong. Scap slag. I'm a scap slag. There we go. We can't go across yet because the water isn't down yet. So we just need to go over here and open up the fancy chest that will not hold what we think it holds. Because I already took this. There we go. Ooh. A talisman of concentrated vitality. So we get upgraded versions of those things as well. So if we get an upgraded Chattered Gauntlet of Ages, that would be awesome. Talisman of Concentrated Vitality. So it wouldn't be better because it doesn't have any enchantment slots, which is still a problem with most of these talismans, I feel like. Because the enchantment slots make even lower level talismans more interesting. Because you can get a lot more extra effects on them. And that's spring cleanup for you. There we go. Let's take the boat because we can't we can't get all those chests yet. We can't get those yet. Now we'll get to the mountain quick. I just can't believe I'm here. Like all of us. There was a time I thought I'd never leave our woods. Not even my own beds. You are not to blame for your sickness. Oh, I know. I guess I'm just saying. This is great. This is great, because the entire game is great. So yeah, the lake. There's the mountain. For the first time in New Game Plus. We flow into seawater. How do you know? Or do you not smell it? If that smells the sea, the sea stinks. <laughs> well, it kind of does a bit. And uh, it kind of hints okay, at everything. At, at the size of, right. um, I never thought you know. I'd listen when Mother spoke of the gods. I seldom did. Did she speak of one who could feel no pain? Oh, that sounds like Balder. Balder. There we go. An Aesir god. Balder. Son of Odin and Frigg. And Odin is king. That's right. Why do you ask? 
Because, of course, this is the point where we know it's bald. And then, of course, we can see the snake over there already. But that's actually a detail I never noticed. This Kratos just mentioned that the lake is connected to the ocean. It's seawater. So that means if the lake level drops because the snake gets out of it, that means the entire ocean drops. So the snake is actually even bigger than you think. But it's actually probably not big enough then to just raise the ocean level. Just sitting there in the middle of the lake. Investigate the glowing statue of Tyr, of course. The uh, friendly god of war. I see rooms there in this chest. I can't quite make it out. There we go. Let's read that. And this actually makes a lot more sense now as well. Because it Tyr is such a, a peaceful god of war. Of makes sense that you need to... Again, the cradle of the world. You need to get rid of your weapons. Throw our weapons into the water? Guess that won't be a problem for you. Are you gonna do it? And this is actually interesting. It it shows you that even though Kratos doesn't really talk to his son, he's not afraid to follow <laughs> his son's ideas. And I can't return. Not return. But the snake does. Another clever way to hide what's actually going on in the scenery, so we get a close-up. The water obstructs a lot of things from view. It darkens just what a bit. Is this? And then we get the awesome reveal of Jormungandr. The world serpent. Hatred in view. This is great. It's fixed. Yeah, Mob City's friendly. What is it saying? I don't know. I'm actually curious what he says. Because there's something really, really interesting Wait, about Jormungandr over there. See that? that links him to Atreus. I'm not going to tell you just yet, because we're going to get a dialogue line but which points to it a bit more. When the serpent rose. Oh, that must be why the beach wasn't there before, see? And there's the mountain. Look it, that building leads from the foot of the mountain to that golden temple. It was all just under the surface. Except for the statue. Good thing, huh? There's even a dock. There, next to the flag. So that means we can start exploring We're going to the dock already. First, right? We'll be the first people to walk on it and who knows how long. You know of that serpent? He's one of the giants. He's so big he's wrapped around the whole world and bites his own tail. An exaggeration. I don't know. Look pretty big to me. Yeah, pretty big. Oh, that's interesting. You never get that effect on the roof later and uh, the walls that the water is just dripping off of it. And of course the nice hint is that there's the a the frog it would seem. on the bridge. If it isn't the bearded beaver, it is sack seed. His well, sack seed. Brock? But how did you... None of your fucking business. Now get in here, I got something for you. And don't go making pig eyes at my spot. I saw it first. Fancy fish, by the way. Okay. There we go. What do you Which think will you never stay open Don't after this. Patience. When word gets out about my new shop, folks will finally come out of hiding. They'll be clawing all over each other just to catch a whiff of my wares. You watch. Well, we, we will watch, and there's pretty much nobody coming in except for us. And, well, you know, 
a, a, a scary tattooed naked guy. But I don't think he bought anything from you because he likes fighting with his own fists. Catch! Thank you. The pile of rocks there, with that key of Yggdrasil, you can open a magic door to the branches of the world tree. A shortcut between the realms. If you ever see him out in the world, use it to get back to me quick. But it's only one way. Straight back here and nowhere else. And whatever you do, never, never, ever, never, ever throw yourself over the edge of the path. Lest you want death. Yeah, I don't see us wanting that. Yeah, I missed that warning the first time around. Then I actually jumped to my death. Um, but let's, uh, let's what see. Be? Let's let the PlayStation go wild again. Sinmara Cinder. Yeah, okay, I think I could already make that. So these, these are not really new. Yeah, these are definitely not new. And then the waste is just... Ooh, I have enough scab slack to make something fancy. So either I go with Gauntlets of the Traveler, but I mean, I do like, I just like my Valkyrie gear so much. Um, and the Cold of War stuff is really cool. But, you know, I mean, it's just so cool looking. And the effects are very, very nice. You know what? I, I wanted to make Atreus armor the first time around, and I'm still missing four scap slacks for that, so I'm just gonna keep uh, farming for that. Upgrade the talisman. I can do that with scap slack as well. And, ooh, it does get enchantment sockets eventually. That is interesting. So that means I'm gonna definitely save up my scap slack. Um. Talisman of Protection, that's... is that the talisman I have now? No, Concentrated Vitality. So, just need to remember that, that I can make enchantments from the Mark of Gvazir and the Talisman of Protection. Okay, fair enough. Let's sell him the artifacts. So those three, SO6. And then let's get out of here. Uh, we can't go over there yet because we don't have the light of Valfheim. And it's even Freya that needs to open up that path. So I think I'm just going to start exploring first. I think we have that option. Um, so let's do that first. Because Atreus doesn't even actually say anything now. About who? The were exposed. We should search them for resources. We should search them for resources. There we go. Just bumping into everything we come across. And then this is the first one. We'll start off easy. I do hear... Yeah, I hear the one circling around here. Yeah, there he is. Ah, I can't aim up enough. Well, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. There we go. And then the other one just Boy. vanished somewhere. Ooh, treasure maps. So those are still here as well. It's some kind of drawing. Maybe a map? Maybe a treasure map. So let's see, Hunter's Kingdom. So that's probably going to be... I think those are exactly the same. Additional rewards in New Game Plus. I think those are exactly the same. The same location, so we know where that is. Okay, so that means... C... R... And... and Boof, boof, boof. Don't know if those return, actually. Ship head numero uno in the bag. And another CRN chest completed. For another 7,000 Haxel, an etched crest of determination. And that's pretty much it for now, I think. Because we can't get higher 
for now. So let's just go. I think I'm gonna go to the door to um, Vitagard first, because I think that's actually openable. And it contains a few nice pieces of loot. Although, can I go in here already? Yeah. I can go to the giant's corpse as well. So let's just check this out. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes. She fought. There we go, those are down, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna get spawns in a second. Oh yeah, of course, the braziers. Boy. Yes, sir. Just gonna check oh yeah, he's just gonna, right, he's just gonna read it now. Focus up, boy! There we go, so there's still... Two, three, four... One, two, three, four... There we go. Not bad, right? You must learn a spirit. Well fought, you two. What is that? A spirit. You're dead? <laughs> You're very perceptive and reckless. Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sather and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? I know. Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of. Most are able to move on from this realm, but we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. Perhaps we, we can. Have no desire to help you, spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. So that's there an easy we... request, of course. So goodbye, spirit. And there we get the Versatile Warrior's Handle, but now in epic form. It's perfect form. Epic perfect form? Uh, let's view in the menu. So it's now 6, which my retribution is 8, fully leveled up. So, yeah, not really interested right now. I just like retribution a lot more. Let us not be distracted. No, indeed, let us not be distracted. So let's put Atreus up here. There we go. Can put this chain down and then that should be it for this little island for now until the water rises again just gonna get this bit of pack silver over here while atreus puts down the chain it's actually quite a bit and the rest of the island we can't really do anything with but this is i think our first cipher right the muspelheim cipher probably We should look for more like this. Yes, we should, because uh, if I can access Muspelheim pretty quickly, I'm wondering if I would be able to do the challenges or if those are leveled as well. There so, we go. I guess we should keep an eye out for other spirits. What did I say about distractions? But it sounds like they needed help. They are spirits, boy. Dead things. They have no needs. Only wants. It feels wrong to ignore them. We will get over these feelings. <laughs> Mom would have wanted to help them. What was that, boy? Nothing. I thought as much. It's weird. I'm so used to seeing everything with the lower water level that this it just feels weird. Because there's an island where we're standing right now. So, uh, no any good stories there? to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. I'm just gonna cut you Mother off there. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? Enough. Stories are for the boat. We must focus. Yes, Is that? Sir. Yeah, that's another. Uh, it's another treasure map. Another treasure map. I'm just wondering which one that will be. The boat captain's key. 
Uh, with the boat captain in the belly of the Hydra, the key was mine. I traveled to a new land, but my ship wrecked and sunk along with my precious key. I think we might actually be able to get that already. Not entirely sure. Let's get in here and probably another fight. Focus up. Your arrows will bring her down. And then just go like this, because revenants are just the most annoying thing in the entire There we go. Revenant down. And whack it up and then just smack it around a bit. Ooh. Rip it apart. That's actually a projectile. We did it. That's cool. Just gonna use that to heal up a bit, and I think the revenant dropped a few things. Follow me, Andreas. Well, yeah, there we go. A bit more hack silver. A bit more healing stuff and something I can't reach. No. The agony. The agony. Okay, 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 we're getting there. Uh, so we can open that up in a second. We can... We can miss that more completely for some reason. But... Up here we can get another ship head. And a bit of axe silver. That thing we can't unlock, so we need to go around. So I need to drop down the chain and across the bridge, if I recall correctly. Because, yeah, it's been a while for these puzzles. There we go. Across the bridge. Call my face. Your challenges mean nothing to the gods, spirit. They do not listen. Do not mock my pursuit of vengeance. Though my family devoted their lives to worshipping Thor, I've devoted mine to his downfall. Oh, sorry. I'll start with that statue looming over my father's grave. Unlikely. You are dead. Is there something we can do? For a reward, of course. If you bring down the statue, you have my blessing to loot my father's grave. He rests on an island to the east. And this is actually pretty easy to do, and it gives Why you one of the more? better... Axe bubbles. My mother built the statue to watch over his grave. Imagine our surprise when the God of Thunder himself came to offer condolences. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm gonna cut this off. We quickly took advantage of our hospitality. Or not? I thought it was gonna continue. But he didn't, so let's just open these up. He's still going. And there we have the golden talisman of protection. That's the one I could upgrade, right? Active, activate immediately after being hit to recover faster. Also has a passive effect that increases the timing window on parries and greatly increases defense while blocking. That actually sounds really good. Especially if I can turn that into an enchantment. Is he still talking? My father's mm -hmm. grave lies on an island to the east. We yes. Take my mother's statue of Thor with that monstrous eye sword to the south. Okay, so the eye sword to the south is the one over there. And uh, yeah, let's let's go to fight the guards. Let's just go immediately to one of the biggest side areas in the game. Why not? That spirit. The one whose mom was killed by Thor. What about him? Will his story be a reminder? The lives of men mean nothing to the gods. I know, Father. You know. But do you listen? Yes. <laughs> Good. Yeah, he's really hard on us, race at the beginning, but of course, it's. So, it could be part of any stories to tell? Parenting. There was a man I knew of long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Okay. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? But set that aside. We must proceed on foot. Can we finish later? Perhaps. Of course. I'll take the time later on. Just gonna read that. And while he's doing that, I can actually access Brock. I just want to check if that talisman of production is what I think it is. So if I upgrade the talisman of protection. 
it gets enchantment sockets, which is fine. But then I think if I want to buy enchantments, I can do that with the Golden Talisman of Protection. So this is the same thing, right? Yeah, Golden Talisman of Protection, but it needs to be... Wait, 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 wait. So it needs to be, yeah, a fully upgraded Golden Moving Talisman on, of man. Protection. Fair enough. Makes more sense and you would get that immediately, so... Because if you would get that immediately, it's way too much of an upgrade. So, wolves. So if I recall correctly, I need to just... Can I block this immediately? Up, boys. Ow, fuck. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming to... No. That's pretty much every wolf taken care of. There we go. Well, you call that easy. Let's open this up. It's stupid that I never see how much skag slap I actually get. Scap slag, god damn it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna keep trying. Scap slag. It's slag. But it's from scabs. Scap slag. Can I actually go over here? No. But I can put this thing back. And then we get a second chest. If you only get one per chest, then I'm, I think, two away from the scab slags that I need for Atreus's uh, armor. What happened to these people? Follow the clues. Okay. Well, scorch marks. They're all grouped together. So maybe they were hiding from some kind of fire breather. But they died anyways. Oh, fuck yeah. And goodbye. Stupid, stupid wolves. I still hate wolves. Especially in New Game Plus. Look here. Can read that. Could read that as well, Curse but he's still reading king. that. Bane of mankind. Sounds like he wasn't a very good king. I wonder why they hated him so much. They are dead now. Does it matter? Nah. I'm just curious. Curiosity well, they hated him. Boy. Stay focused. Because he uh, set a dragon loose on them. Well, not really loose. They, 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 he used all those people just to get a dragon. Personal dragon. Which is, of course, something the people would not like very much. So, by the guards. There we go. Very nice place, of course. Bit of a dwarven kingdom. Not the biggest dwarven kingdom. Because that's for Koenig's guards. Annoying, but resourceful. I guess they must have been pretty important dwarves. There we go. Let's dock over here, and then we can start taking out the statue well, of Thor. Here it is. It's gotta have a weak point somewhere. And smack in the back and just rip him apart. There we go. Oh yeah, right, there's another one over here. I remember that, I was getting ambushed in the back. I think it's a heavy one if it's the same. Ah. Uh. And there we go. It is over. So let's take care of this thing. Is he planning on doing this himself? 
and um, this thing. Don't really like those crows either. And then, yeah. then there's two more in the back, if I recall correctly. So there's one right over there. And then the other leg. Gods do not fall this easily, boy. I know, I know. I was just joking. Nor are they a joking matter. Sorry. Come on, lighten up a bit. Lighten up a bit, Kratos. Find anything good? Perhaps. Yes, yes, the shock pommel. Grip of Tangiost plus. So the perfect axe pommel, low perk activation chance to strike with an explosion of lightning that inflicts shock damage to all nearby enemies on any successful axe hit. Let's check that out. So it starts out at eight and it gives me more runic and a bit less cooldown and the shock effects replaces the uh, retribution oh i'm gonna miss retribution but this thing is also so good now i'm gonna see if i can upgrade that thing all the better but for now they seem to be pretty equally matched so let's just climb back up because I think I might have actually left the chest over there. Yeah, because I couldn't couldn't open it up because the the other one was still alive. There we go. Taking that in the bag, and then let's push Adam, this why along. Why the gods cause so much trouble for us? Because that is their nature. But with all that power. You would think at least some of them would try to make life better for people. And yet, the gods continue to spread misery. This is life, boy. I need to be careful because they're coming from all directions here. You can't reach me. Oh god. And rip. And rip. Explosion and then this guy. There we go. Okay. Is the... Ah, the dragon is still there. I was wondering if the dragon was still here. Uh, it is. It is. We can just save that thing again if you want to. Okay. 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 Uh, first things first. Chest over there on the left. And then we can go to the right again. Jesus, that scared the shit out of me. That's a worm down. Is that a dragon? I've never seen one so close. I'm a scab slack. Shitty with a wee pop bada boom. So let's cross and get over here. I think in the back we can cross over and then climb up. Or open up the gate, that's also an option. Go. Wait a second. And do I need to do that again? Is it just higher or ah oh yeah, it's on the right, it's on the right. Kinda missed that. There we go. Follow me, Atreus. Freeze that up. And climb it all the way back up. And get whatever this thing is. Just a rage stone, apparently. So that flips it so I can just pull it back. 
and climb ourselves up to the realm there. I'm wondering if that's going to give us more stuff as well or not. It's just going to be more dust of realms since we need that for most of the upgrades I've seen for the new stuff. And that gets us, yeah, seems like dust of realms. Ah, but we do get scab slag out of it as well. Fair enough, fair enough, thank you very much. Drop and catch. <laughs> and a cup. Those are the bottoms up, right? No horns to fight the guard. Don't be an annoying little cretin now. Did anything else spawn? I don't think it did. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. It's just a dragon growling in the background. Is... Seriously? Ah, I can't interrupt the... Uh, the legendary evolution, although that didn't help him very much. And another horn. Those actually pack a few pieces of hack silver, I think, if I sell that. I think there might be another... No? No chest? Just a shortcut. Okie do. Let's go free ourselves a dragon. Boy. Yes, sir. I am aware of it, boy. Yep. That doesn't seem to have left something. Is there another one? Okay. Wait, what's that? Marker indicating oh something on the left. Oh, they explode. And those guys explode, so let's just stay out of the way. While also dodging lightning on the floor, obviously. So, always fun when you're hanging with Kratos and uh, Boy. Slowly taking a stroll. There we go. Small explosion. And then I can grab this guy. Turn around. So that also explains why Faye, of course, Atreus is talking about these stories like they happened, but that's a confusion with the future and now that Atreus always had in the story, because his mother told him stories, but it was stories that she knew that was going to happen.
<laughs> Smack. Ah, oh, crap. And, uh, this. And then the other one on the left. Goodbye. Deacon Carol. Although the music is still going. Wait, one of the letters is hidden. Yeah, over there. Why is the music still going? Don't see any enemies. So let's just keep going. Let's just... Oh! Saw you! There we go. I was a bit confused there because he took a really long time to attack in his ambush. If I were to ambush somebody, I would attack immediately, but apparently that guy had different ideas. Just slowly gonna whack you in the face. Why is the music still going? Did I actually miss... I don't think I did. Yeah, I'm just gonna continue on. Must be the excitement with the dragon. There we go, three out of three seals. Down. Which means I can just open this up. And open this up. I'm the bump to desk, I'm sorry. With all this enthusiastic music. So, yeah, that's that. So let's just go down. I think there's another Ready horn, for. yeah, over here. There we go. And that's two Vikings, if I'm not mistaken, so I'm just gonna bum rush the first one. There we go. Two Vikings down. And I actually don't need to rely on uh, Spartan Rage in any way here, which is fine. And there we have our first treasure chest. And a very, very sneaky... Uh, and there we go, Light the Aloe, we can use that to upgrade the Shock Pommel. And a very, very sneaky Crow. Here. And you can read that boy. as well. Yes, sir. Boy. Boy. Oh, yeah, right. I think there's another Thanks. Dragonstone over there. Which I should probably first get. Give me a second. I'm just going to run across. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, one of the dragon statues is right over there. As long as I keep going, this shouldn't be a problem. I think it's right over here in the corner. Hello, good sir. Oh, I caught him in the blast. That was awesome. Oh, 
I just tear this thing down. If it was your mother's wish, yeah. you are too eager, boy. It may attack us, and we will be forced to kill it. Oh, good point. I'll be right. Let's see. Jesus, he's going haywire again. I think there's another one of those. I'll just alternate that. There we go. With a few arrows. Should be fine. So let's head back to the... Uh, or to the big building over there. This might be bad. No. Oh, okay. There we go. Four out of six horns. D and R. That's D. And that is so this one. And I think this one is the. What's the other one? The other one is the air. This should be easy to solve now. So F on the bottom and N on the top. Oh, this isn't done completely yet. No, it is. What do they say, boy? True. It means to believe or to have faith in. So they still have faith in their king? Even after he got so many of them killed? It is a command to have faith despite his failures. There we go. Shield guys down. Okay. He goes down. And he goes down as well, but it's close. And a bit of hack silver, so that should explode probably in the back, so we're gonna have to move. Let's open this up while we're here. Oh boy. Another one. Scotty. Mother liked her. A great huntress. That's her father. And all the animals. Ow. Goodbye. That was good. Right? Lost a bit of with practice. And a bit of health stones. There we go. I think was there. Not sure if there's there's a few crows hidden around here. I could listen to their uh, fancy noise. Ah, it's pool, right? Yeah. There we go. Open this up for more scap slag. I did it right this time, I think. Scap slag it is. There we go. The key to unlocking everything's full potentials. Uh, so that's where we came from. So we just need to move further along. Probably another fight. Enemies ahead. And he just blew up. Look at this place. Well, yeah. When the dwarf built it? They must have been impressive back when he ruled. So. Must have been really impressive because, of course, we've heard the story of uh, Motsognir. And his uh, really, really big tendencies to start hunting for everything that's really, really big. 
Sounded like there were enemies spawning. We're just gonna check this tunnel, which leads back out onto the next. Uh, smack for these two. You can stay there. Boom! That's the last one. I guess now we find out if dragons can be grateful or not. So we'll do that at the end. Jesus Christ. I feel like he does more shock attacks than he did originally. There we go, open that up. And then let's head back inside to finish this. Because there's of course a, a bigger boss battle at the end of this. Which we might as well just power through. And there went my voice for a second. Well, if they don't want to come in here... There we go. Goodbye. Don't think there was... Yeah, the horn. One more for the collection. Oh, one more for the collection indeed. That's pretty much that. Here. We can read Boy. that Sir. while we're moving along. Now we have a bigger fight at our hands. Knock, knock. Oh. And there he goes. We are done here. Easy peasy. And another little chest with Haxel here for us. That allows us to just move along. I'm really not using the Blades of Chaos, am I? Really, really need to start doing that. Because there's a few nice things in the, the Blades of Chaos. Looks like that lever over there will free him. He will attack. I know, but... It feels wrong to keep something caged like this. Your emotions again, boy. Ignore them. And ready yourself. Okay. Seems like there's only health stones in these areas. So, lever. Open that up. Oh, wow, that's how. Yep. I died in one hit there. Nice, nice. It's gonna be interesting. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, the Blessing of Frost still does an immense job just going through everything. This is ridiculous how powerful that is. I am taking fire damage, by the way. And it looks like I'm just gonna finish this. And there we go. Didn't even need to use everything. A bit OP. Oh, we're inside of something with the camera there. Your skill is improving. You fought well, Atreus. Thank you, Father. Ooh, the Horn of Heimdall. Yeah, I've used that in my previous playthrough. It's pretty cool, but it's pretty much the same thing as as that or that. That pretty much. Yeah, it's pretty much the same effect as. Uh, the stunning from that, but this also means we can just continue on our way. 
by putting in the keystone which is got from the troll. And that opens up another chest and a bit more rewards in a second because we're going to free the dragon as well. Etched crested bounty. And a bit more Haxel from the pots. But that's not... I was expecting a bit more Haxel from that golden chest. Oh, so. Fresh air feels good. Kick that down. And free the dragon while we're at it. Sir. Which is a very, very long stabbing the mask animation. And spears. Please don't eat us. Please don't eat us. Boy, prepare yourself. Bye bye. Good dragon. You're welcome. Indeed you are, and we get a brilliant mark of the dragon. Perfect enchantment, sprinting for three seconds, grants unstoppable aura. So it's the same thing, but just higher quality. Jesus. Scaps lag. Otis imprisonment and a dragon tier. So the, the rewards are pretty similar. We just so, got higher level what enchantments. What all the people who lived here? Follow the clues, boy. Right, right. Follow the clues. Okay, so there was an evil dwarf king, and he made all these people hunt monsters. The people put them in cages, and then... And then I don't know. Hmm. We are missing a clue. Back inside the castle? No. There is nothing more for us inside. But stay alert for chain dragons, boy. Perhaps you'll uncover more about this Dwarf King. Because, yeah, eventually we do, because we uncover that the Dwarf King actually tried to make this uh, incredibly powerful armor by killing off a lot of his own people, which is a bit weird. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to use the teleport to get the Brock shop again. And then I can end it over there, which would be should be nice. Should be a nice stream of uh, an hour and 40 minutes. We made a lot of progress. Got to the lake and cleared out Vital Guard. And move to Brock's shop. Wondering if I can actually just. Look at this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right. Right, I know. Yeah, because Brock warned us about that. I'm actually going to quickly check that enchantment we got. Um, Asgard Shard of Existence. Fortification 12 Defense. Let's see if we can swap that out for the red one we just got. So that is 7, gives us 15 and 4. 15 strength, that is. We lose that 12 Defense, but we get more out of it. So why not, eh? Levels up, levels us up a little bit, and it's our first perfect enchantment. It's not level 8, by the way, it's just the level 7 perfect enchantment. Which is weaker than some of the level 8s we have from the killing the Valkyries. But I'm really, really curious what that's gonna be. Against uh, the Valkyries on this difficulty. And uh, in New Game Plus. Because the developers said they got uh, more attacks. They got a few more tricks up their sleeves. But let's see. We got that shock pommel. What's it gonna be this time? The first up, Atreus armor. As we discussed, we're gonna craft that. You know, being small like us, that's and equip it. So that gives them everything. So the perks of the legendary fighter tunic, runic vestment, and sharpshooter garb. See, he has all those. Yeah. All those uh, stuff. After using a runic summon, arrows will deal additional status damage for 8 seconds, increase health stone potency, traitors will sometimes find health stones, and then enemies in air take increased damage. When rapid firing, the last arrow increase, inflicts increased damage, and arrows fired will in air inflict additional damage. You okay. So he's incredibly powerful at the moment. Upgrade the grip of Tangios. I need one more Leipzig alloy. Ooh. So yeah, we can't just upgrade that just yet. 
And it doesn't seem like the grip of Tangiost will get... Oh no, and I don't have any enchantment slots anyway on those things, so that just doesn't really matter. But it's a nice thing. If I can upgrade that a bit more, it's going to be really, really nice. Even though I lose Retribution, I'm, I'm not that sad about it. And now we have the Golden Talisman of Protection. I think I might just start upgrading that a bit. Since we're going to be able to add that as an enchantment eventually if we upgrade it completely. So let's just do that. Upgraded the Golden Talisman of Protection. And it's going to drop us in level so we still shouldn't uh, focus on that. And upgrade materials seem to be pretty limited for now. It's still scap slack. Best of luck with all the rampaging. And we can talk to him again. You didn't happen to run yourself a foul of a scruffy fella. About yay high, doesn't feel pain, sounds drunk, but probably just slow. <laughs> hey, how'd you think I feel about it? If I'd wanted a seer business, I'd have set up shop outside a brothel. Or a fighting pit. Or a fighting brothel. Uh, I mean, Brock makes did you say Aesir? the Aesir sound like a bunch of assholes no. immediately from the get-go. Brock. What do you know about the serpent in the lake? I know he's too damn big. Uh, all right. Okay, that was a lot of background information. And that's apparently all his dialogue options. So, I'm going to actually end the stream here. So, thank you guys enormously for watching. And I'll see you in the next video or series. Because there's plenty on the channel. So, check that out as well if you'd like. So, thank you and goodbye.